Hello today guys, we're gonna do kind of a little, I don't know what to call it, it's a ramble. It's not a get ready with me because I'm not getting ready, I'm not doing anything like that. So I'm just gonna ramble a little bit about women's Bible studies. <music> So I've been looking around Canon Press. Now Canon Press is like this, I, I think it's Calvinist, but I'm not sure. But I think it's this Calvinist thing and they're coming out with this thing called Even Exile, right? Um, and Even Exile is basically just, you know, why it's good to be a traditional woman, why it's good to be a biblical woman. and. I found myself just like enthralled with the idea of this Bible study and I couldn't think why. Like I've never loved women's Bible studies. I don't particularly enjoy <laughs> anything that's branded like w for women. Okay. I started thinking about like why that is. What is it about a woman's Bible study or anything branded for a woman that I'm like, no nah, thanks, I'm good. Okay. so. Some of it does have to do with my, like, upbringing, my background, how dysfunctional it was, and <clears throat> I never really had, like, women, you know, older women around me to show me, like, what to do, what is it, what does it mean to be a woman, etc. So that's kind of part of it, and then also it's... Anytime I go to a woman's Bible study, it was just like, yeah, we can do it because we're just as good as men. It's like, but I'm not a man. Like, <laughs> I get that, you know, in God, there is a, there is an equality in God or with God. But at the same time, like we are, we aren't the same. We're not equal in that, in many ways. So you know, what do, what do these women do to live godly female lives, you know? <clears throat> and it just sort of, it just sort of boiled always down to, well, we don't cheat on our husbands and we work a job. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, worldly women do that. Like that, that's not like, a, that's not, that's not really a Proverbs 31 woman. Right? It's not really, uh, whenever you look at stuff in the Bible and it talks about, let's see, where is this? I actually wrote a whole blog about this. I shouldn't say a whole blog, but I wrote one. That's not exactly what Titus 2 is really talking about either. So I got kind of confused, upset, didn't know what to, where to go or what to do with it. If I wanted to have deeper conversation about what what does it really look like for women to work from a biblical perspective that was really just like not talked about things like that and for me that's a problem because if we're going to be having relationships and you know the older women are going to be teaching the younger women we need to teach them from a biblical viewpoint so and then some of it was just like a bunch of ladies sitting around learning about Revelation from another lady who's younger than some of them, but older than others of them. And I just think it became very impersonal. You know, I'm supposed to, in the Bible, it talks about w older women of your church or area or whatever teaching you what they know. You know? I don't know. So, <clears throat> you know, I've even try to be like, hey, let's hang out with some older women and see what they're thinking. And even had older women tell me, well, no, I'm much older than you. I don't need to be hanging out with you. It's like, no, actually the opposite is true. <laughs> you need to be hanging out with us and we need to be talking about things and we need to, we need that guidance, right? And it just sort of always seemed to play out that way. It never seemed to play out in such a way where like, the women were really wanting to support each other or some of them just couldn't kitty hi kitty <laughs> some of them just couldn't because you know family obligations you know what i mean so i don't know um some and you know so i wrote this whole <laughs> kitty 
Sorry about that. So I wrote this whole thing about it and I've been frustrated before. I hope this thing turns out okay. I hope it turns into something we can really use. Because I find the women of the Bible, I find that to be a very beautiful thing. It's It never read to me like we're supposed to be these stupid women who just stay home. They just cook and they clean and that's all they do. It's never read to me like that. We are the counterparts, supporters of men. So you have to be intelligent. You have to be able to defend you know, the household when he's not around. You have to be able to be willing to fight for your family. You know, you have to be willing and able to do whatever's necessary to make sure that your household is all right. And that is what I see in a Proverbs 31 woman. You know, besides, you know, I've already kind of done a video about that. What is a Proverbs 31 woman? Let's really dive into it. But, <clears throat> you know, well, these, these Bible studies are just not all that great. <laughs> Kitty's having a good time over here. So, you know, I don't know, like, I am hoping that with these videos I'm reaching women, hopefully younger women. I'm 39 years old, so if you're younger than that, welcome aboard. If you're older than that and you think that you can teach me something, welcome aboard. But, you know, I'm hoping I'm reaching women. Uh, so like I said, this is kind of a ramble. I've got some music on, just sort of talking like we would if you were just hanging out at my house. Um... You know, so I really hope that this thing comes comes in to being something that I can use if I have, you know, a daughter of my own someday. Um, sorry, that's my phone back there. <laughs> I was not prepared at all. That's okay, it's a ramble, it's not nothing else. Uh, I know YouTube told me that I have six returning subscribers, like four to six. Thank you guys for returning. If you're out there watching this right now, thank you. Uh, I am sincerely appreciative of your attention and time. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you think that's possible. Uh, <clears throat> let me know things that you would like to see since you're returning and uh, maybe topics you'd like for me to cover, things like that. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. I am just sort of... I am trying to get a schedule together between housework and my little side <laughs> thing where I, you know, invest and things like that. And what I'm trying to do is every Thursday, 4 p.m. I think that's going to work the best. And then you have the weekend, you know, Friday, the weekend to watch it, whatever. And uh, I think that's just what I'm going to do from now on. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. I'm setting up a website as of right now. So I am hoping to get that, you know, up and running. I'm writing the first blog post for it. This is going to be the first one. Um, oh, gosh. Other than that, I don't know what to say, really. I just have... I'm seeing a lot of hope. The pendulum's swinging back. You know, people are running back around. Just like history tells us, eventually people get tired of the nonsense and it swings back. What I am sincerely hoping is that it does not swing back too far because then, you know, obviously I have to come out against a swing that's too far also. Because the Bible has certain... The Bible always is a fan of balance. It, you know, God created us for certain roles, for certain things, for certain ways, and uh, that is a that's a that is how we maintain balance between people. And so I am hoping that this this brings back a balance for a lot of things. Um, I do know that one video that I keep thinking about making and I keep putting it off, but I am thinking about making it again, or I am thinking about making it is why I'm against. Um, like the family courts and why I'm against child support. I know probably a lot of people won't like that and I actually think the video won't get very many views at all because I don't think YouTube would do that. So, uh, you know, would suggest it to anybody. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. I'm making it... Like I said, this is mostly fun for me, and I mostly just make it to kind of help me figure things out. Like, what do I really think, or why do I think the way I do? And you guys are along for the ride, and I love it. 
I'm enjoying it. Um, like I said, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or email, whichever one. I'll begin linking my uh, website down in the description so you guys can visit that too. I basically want to make the website to collate this data. I love to do research and put data together. <laughs> so what uh, I thought about doing for the longest time was just make a website. Just do a website. It's the easiest thing to do. Other people can reference it if they want to and it can be a guide that isn't going to go anywhere if YouTube goes down or something. So I think that's what I'm, uh, I, I decided, you know, I think that's what I'm going to do. And so then I decided to do it. And so now I'm working on it. Um, I have sort of a physical copy of that where whenever I read my Bible, as I read it, if, it, if there's a subject or a topic that these verses speak on, then I'll write it down in like this topical thing I, that I've made. I've done it over and over and over again. <laughs> and that's mainly because like a lot of times when you get like topical Bibles, they will leave certain ones out because instead of just being, okay, this is the topic, this is everything the Bible says about this topic, it is instead like, well, it's a Baptist version or it's a Catholic version or it's a whatever version. And it's, it's never like, <clears throat> excuse me, it's never like complete. It's never like, this is everything the Bible says about this, even if it doesn't have the word, right? So it's kind of weird. You have to really... When you're using your resources, you have to really be careful about it. Um, like the internet is a really good resource for just sort of basic things. But if you want to understand things a little bit better, then you really should get like a thesaurus and a dictionary for these words because um, it just explains it a lot better. There's also something called uh, a lexicon. And I think, I think this is right. The lexicon, Thayer's lexicon or something like that. Uh, I'll, if I, I'll go look at my books and what I have, but it tells you sort of like the context of the word and what they would use it for. And then usually also which context of that word was used in which verse. So then you have a much better idea of what you're reading, what it actually means, things like that. Um, like I was talking before about what's her face, um, God is gray. She will use things out of context really badly. And for me, it's like you have blue letter Bible, blue letter Bible is a thing. You can go read what it really means, what it really says, how it's different from the word that you think it is. So that's just kind of where I'm at guys. Let me turn this music down a little bit. So I can ramble a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's right. I thought my webcam had died, but it, it it's fine actually. It's actually fine. <laughs> um, I don't know what I would do if my webcam died. I've actually thought about just getting like a, uh, what's it called? Getting using my husband's Canon because that has, um, you know, a lot better video quality and things like that. But then again, at the same time, I'm sort of like, all right, but you know, my webcam does just fine and I don't seem to need it too much. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Cause also with the, with the cannons, what can also happen is they don't focus very well. So you can lose focus very easily. So I don't know, you know, you tell, you guys tell me what you think you'd like. Again, guys, this is just a ramble, so I don't know what else I'm going to talk about, but I think I'm pretty much done. Um, let me know what you'd like to hear about, what you'd like me to talk about. Let me know down in the comments, or like I said, you can email me. Uh, I think my email is in the description. If it's not, I guess I'll start doing that too. But anyway, um, that's really all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a good one. Remember to pray and read your Bible. And this is going to come out, what is today? Today's a Tuesday. This is going to come out on a Tuesday and then I have one scheduled for Thursday. And I think from then, from now on, it's going to be Thursday at four, unless I'm talking about something that's super timely or something. Excuse me. I'm trying to always have something Thursday. 4 p.m. and that's going to be my publishing thing for right now. 
I have tried doing it every day. I think I would really enjoy doing it every day, but every time I try and do that, something gets in the way or something happens. We have to go somewhere. So Thursday at four, I think is a good idea. And so I will always have four videos a month for you guys. And I think that's going to be, that's going to be best. If I can get more in there, then I will. I'll get as much content in here as I can for you guys. So um, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, like I said, remember to pray and read your Bible, guys, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Let me get this over here to stop recording, okay? I'll see you in the next one, okay? Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day.